Okay, today we are looking at CC1 1.2.2 Review and Preview. We're going to start with problem 57. Which is greater? Three sets of 5 minus 2 or two sets of 2 plus 3? Draw diagrams to support your conclusion. Well, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at each set. Okay, three sets of 5 minus 2. Well, 5 minus 2 is 3. So I'm really looking at three sets of 3. Okay. And remember when I draw, I don't have to draw each individual penny. I could, but I don't have to. Well, three sets of 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9. Then my other set of pennies, I have two sets of 2 plus 3. So I have two sets of 2 plus 3, which is 5. Well, 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 is greater than 9. So two sets of 2 plus 3 is larger. My next problem, I'm looking at two piles of pennies. And I need to figure out, well, which pile has more pennies and explain my reasoning. So pile one, I'm going to use a numerical expression as my reasoning. Okay, so if I do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, one, two, three, four, five, there's six groups of 12, plus six, plus three. And if I add those all together, I have 12, six groups of 12, so I'm multiplying. Six times two is 12, six times one is six, plus one is seven. So I have 72 plus six plus three, which is 81. That is my reasoning. I can use the map, the numerical expression as my reasoning. For pile two, I have 16 groups of five. Okay, now 16 times five. Six times five is 30. Five times one is five plus three is eight. Pile two has 80. So pile one has more pennies. I'm going to circle my reasoning for pile one so I know that that's the one with more pennies. Part B wants us to write two different number expressions to represent the number of pennies in each pile. Well, going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to have pile one and pile two. I already have an expression for pile one. I have 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3. Okay, I could also write six groups of 12 plus 6 plus 3. I could write 6 groups of 12 plus 9. Okay, remember I can write a lot of different numerical expressions for each number. Pile 2, I already have 16 times 5. I could have written 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16. Okay. Actually, I couldn't have written that. I have 16 groups of 5, so I have to write 5 16 times. I could write 16 5 times because I could change my piles. But if I'm looking at my picture, I want to write 16 5s. And 
that's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16. I could, if I were going to rewrite it, I could say, well, there's 80 pennies. I could have 10 groups of 8, right? So moving on to part C, we're going to write a number comparison. Okay, we have to use the greater than, less than, or equal sign. And we need to see if, to, sh to show if the number of pennies in one pile is greater than the other or if they're the same. We already figured out, well, pile one has more. So I'm going to actually use the six groups of 12 plus nine expression. And for pile two, I'm going to have the 16 groups of five. Okay, I know that pile one has a greater number, so I'm going to use the greater than sign. Okay. Problem 59. Connie is helping her mother gather the loose change or coins in their house. They collected a large jar full of quarters and dimes. Connie wants to arrange the coins on the table to make it easy to know how much money they have. On your paper, draw a diagram to show Connie how she can arrange her quarters and dimes to make her money easy to count. Okay, so if I have quarters, okay, quarters are 25 cents. If I have quarters, I probably want to group them in groups of four. Right? Because a group of four makes a dollar. So quarters would be in groups of four. Dimes, however, dimes are only 10 cents. And I still want to try to group them in groups that would be a whole dollar. So if I'm grouping dimes, I probably want to have groups of 10. Dimes would be in groups of 10. That way, if I know that they're dimes and I know that it's in a group of 10, and I probably want to arrange it like we did in class, okay, rather than doing it this way, I might want to do the groups of two by five just to try to keep it so my my eyes see that it's a two by five array so then I know that there's ten right away. Same thing with the quarters. They're arranged right on top of each other in an array of two by two. So I know what that means. Okay, problem 60. We're going to use our knowledge of place value to place the correct inequality sign, greater than or less than. Okay, and then for part D, I want to write the parts in words. So 16 and 5 tenths. Is it less than or greater than 16 and 52 hundredths? Well, if I'm not sure, I could rewrite 16 and 50 hundredths. Well, is it bigger or smaller than 16 and 52 hundredths? 16 and 52 hundredths is larger. 
Okay, and I can do that same thing here. 4 and 110 thousandths and 4 and 10 hundredths. But I can add another zero. I'm not changing my number. I'm just showing that there's zero thousandths. Well, 110 thousandths is larger than 100 thousandths. Okay, 5 and 963 thousandths. Is it larger or smaller than 5 and 900 thousandths? It's larger. Part 1 of Part D, I have to write 4 and 110 thousandths as a in words. Okay. Remember, the decimal point means and. So I could write 4 and 100 Ten thousand. The THS means that it's on the, it's to the right of the decimal point. Okay, versus part two, it's still four and, but it's not one hundred ten thousandths. It's ten hundred. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know.